Second chances can be hard to come by. Five Hundred Sides Art Holiday found a St. Louis man making up for lost time with the help of his family and his boss, Art. Well, Mike and Ed, Michael Hurst believes a judge wanted to make an example out of him, and that's why he issued a 30-year sentence for a 1988 armed robbery. After getting out of prison a couple of years ago, Hurst is singing a more optimistic tune, that it's never too late to turn your life around. Just picture yourself in those shoes and see that point of view. Judge someone is so uncool. With a slickly produced music video, Mike Hurst is one step closer to his dream, a music-making dream delayed decades because of a horrible decision. You went to prison for 25 years for $4. For four bucks. To be honest, you must be kicking yourself. You never know what person I have on a robbery. That crazy choice came in 1988. Hearst was 23. Hearst and a friend were driving around Richmond Heights when their last-minute decision to commit an armed robbery for some quick cash led to a 30-year prison sentence and a lifetime of regret. But like we was hurt for money or anything. We had good families. We had jobs. Oh, even though he had been brought up differently. Patricia Hurst stood by her son with monthly visits, saving letters he wrote from prison. Hope and pray that this will be the happiest year for me. I certainly need a fresh new store. A fresh start that took 25 years. My rough hands. You're a human just like me and you. You committed a crime. I committed a crime. You should have gone to prison. Should have went to prison. Wish I did. The Department of Justice says over 10,000 ex-prisoners are released from America's state and federal prisons every week. That's 650,000 inmates a year arriving in our nation's communities with uncertain futures. That's because studies show that about two-thirds will likely be re-arrested within three years of release. Mike Hurst plans to defy those odds. Hearst has a steady job at Kirkwood Material Supply, where a man's past isn't held against him, says owner Richard Kopp. We have uh, four or five uh, people that work for us right now that, you know, at certain times they have to go see a parole officer. So, but um, almost every one of them have worked out well for us. I do my share. I do probably do a little bit more, you know, but I'm grateful to work there. He's also grateful for Tammy, who married Hearst 14 months ago after he proposed in front of their church congregation. Called her friend, sung a song to her, she started to walk away, I said, hold up, pulled out front, pulled my ring, I got down on my knee and asked what you had in front of the church, and she said, yeah. While in prison, religion, family support, and music kept Hearst from giving up. He says he wrote over 100 songs, including Pharisee, from his new CD. Will anyone pay attention? Who knows? The music industry is brutal, but so is prison where the desire to make amends ignited her inner flame. She can still pick yourself up and get yourself together. Michael Dwayne Hurst's album, titled Hear Me, is available on iTunes and other music download sites. And he texted me today, he's just finished a Christmas CD, just in time for the holidays. So he's clearly got a lot of talent. What does he hope to do with music? Is What's his big plan? I don't know if you would say it's a big plan, but he wants people to listen to his music. Now, whether that results in any sort of financial gain, well, that's every musician's dream. Sure. But it's hard to realize. And yeah. We'll see what happens. All right. Great story. Thanks, Arch. And a quick reminder you can help us make the holiday.